Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Flagons and Dragons. Uh, we want to thank everybody for listening. Uh, we're getting uh, quite a lot of, of word spreading about us. It's really nice to see. We're apparently big in Chicago for some reason. What up Chicago? Yeah, what up Chicago? Um, what up Australia? What up Florida? We got people all over the place. What so. up on the moon? Yeah, probably. I mean, we don't get download numbers for them because they're on a different network. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, so that's that's really great to see. So keep telling your friends about that. Also tell yourself and your friends <laughs> yeah, <we're laughs> uh, to visit our GoFundMe page. That's GoFundMe.com slash flagons dash and dash dragons. Um, Super simple. We uh, still need your help. Uh, we've got some equipment upgrades that we want to do. We've got uh, website hosting to pay for. Lots of other expenses that kind of come along with all this kind of stuff that we're sending out. So please go check that out. We do have some exciting uh, rewards coming your way very soon um, for donations on that page. So if you've got a couple extra bucks, um, go have a look at that. That would be great. Um, uh, so to the business at hand, John, can you uh, catch our listeners up on what happened last week? All right. So we've been zip zapping around the plains. Mm-hmm. A little zip zap zap. Um, where we last left off, we were at uh, your homeland. I remember uh, Derp was uh, yep. uh, encountered by the man who he claimed was his father. Mm-hmm. Um, and we had a paternity crisis <laughs> happening. We, we talked about uh, riboflavins and other integral parts of DNA last week. That's right. Um, so, uh, yeah, now we just got to figure out where do we go from here. Where do we go from who here? Who is your daddy? Who's your daddy? That would be an episode title right there. Yeah. Look Could at me be. go. Look at me go. Look at it. Look at it happen. Look at it. Right it's in front of you. happening right eyes. now. All right. Well, uh, I think we should keep everybody in suspense for another 30 seconds we or so. We could just have a, like a long, flaccid silence between us if you want. Yep. I can't, I can't uh, wait so anymore. I, was, I, can't I was wait waiting anymore. for you to flinch first. All yeah. Right. All right. Let's go to the Let's episode. Let's get right into all it. Right, here we go. Episode 105, Flagons and Dragons, Prince Derp. I do not know you. What? Daddy. And, and then again, the human sort of looks around frantically. You see other people sort of whispering around him. It looks, looks, looks like him. Yes, yes, it could be anything. He's like, oh. the human claps his hands twice and holds them up. These must be the gentlemen that kidnapped the king's son all these years ago. Oh, fuck. Caught them away. Caught them away immediately. I didn't do shit. Hey, don't touch me. Not take friends, daddy. Oh, clearly, clearly he, he suffers from a case of Strindberg syndrome or whatever <laughs> it's called. The name escapes me now. Stockholm. Stockholm, that's the word. <laughs> Cart them all away. Quick, give him a derp snack. <laughs> <laughs> and immediately a large chicken is brought out from the kitchen mm. and set in front of And derp just goes at it like the champ he is. And immediately I need a fort save from you, derp. Or a will okay. save, actually. A will, will save. save, yes. All right. Really? Yes. Sure, it's not Fort? Yeah, no, definitely. Okay. okay. Six. Yeah, okay. So, um, Derp, immediately you begin to feel drowsy. Mm. Mm. Derp, what? No. Large uh, half ogre guards will come up on either side of the other two of you and grab you strongly by the arms. I'm just going to take you down to the dungeon. <laughs> Please come along quietly. Not, Nothing bad will happen. Not take bread. How many people are in this? A lot. And they're all ogres? They're all ogres and half ogres. Large size men with large size weapons. Take your hands off me and I will go. As long as you don't make any ruckus, just don't you'll look, be don't, just fine. Don't look at my shoulder. Don't look at my shoulder. Yeah. Take, my take these kidnappers away. This is Keith. <laughs> what? His name is Keith, all right? That's a great name. It's fine. Sorry, Keith is the name of the uh, uh, advisor to Derp's alleged father. Right. Yes. His name is Keith, and he's awesome. <laughs> so 
covered that much of a choice. No, we, we have no choice. In this the place. trial will be held shortly. Just whatever you do, do not put us in the same cell. Do not put us in the same cell together, whatever you do. That would be really I cannot dumb. stand the guy's ass breath. Hey, you're the one that eats ass. You're the one that's dead. So, uh, keep a, who? <laughs> keep a clap twice. Usher you and motion for you guys to be taken down to cells. Assuming you don't fight Sean, you'll find yourself bound and gagged. Pontoon, you will likewise be sort of manacled hands and feet. You'll all be tossed in separate cells. Derp, you'll find yourself to be quite accommodating. Plush, you'll even remember the room from your childhood yeah. with your toys still in it. My little pony. <laughs> um, so, um, you'll all find yourselves in cells, separate cells, but in a hall. Um, the door will have like just the sort of narrow sort of window slat in it, so you guys can talk if you want. Can I assume that my familiar has been invisible this whole time? Because he can do that. Roll a percentile. Can I assume that my familiar does that? Yes. 17? 107. 107. (laughs) Uh, The two UFOs, 107 comes out. You'll find that your familiar is quite visible and also bound up similarly with you. Um, Sean, you'll find... um, once you get down to the cell, they'll take off your gag. Um, you're still manacled. But you feel like your connection to magic has sort of been lost down here. <laughs> he says with a disapproving wave of the hand. Well, shit. <laughs> um, likewise, Pontoon, you'll feel that um, any sort of mental exertion that you take on here to manifest any sort of psionic power does not seem to work for some reason. Somehow the the walls of the, the cell seem to repel any any effort to influence the world magically Do or I have psionically. Any residue in my anal tract? <laughs> Unfortunately, your, your metabolism yeah. is so on point. Your absorption is it's been a couple days complete. now, you're done. I'm not, I'm gonna and I it. assume Derp is just playing with his toys. Oh yeah, no Derp is the happiest Derp has been in a while. But he misses his friends, for sure. Yar. So at this point, uh, Keith will come down and explain to you all, there's going to be a trial. You can elect any of you to represent yourselves if you so desire, but you will fall on the king's judgment. What if we make it all the way through the trail? <laughs> <laughs> he laughs like a Muppet. Oh, I'm uh, gonna wear your face, fucker. <laughs> 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 you said there's gonna be a trail. And then you said some other stuff. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Pontoon has a plus four to Spoonerisms. <laughs> um, Sean, why don't you roll me a wisdom check? How about a nine? Something about this guy's face is familiar. It's super familiar, but you just can't place it. Like Keith. Like Keith. you feel like you've seen Keith before. You don't know where, you don't know when, but something about Keith seems familiar. So Keith will say... Um, you'll have trial in the morning. I suggest you say your prayers and eat your Wheaties and vitamins. Because you will need all your strength and fortitude and metal. Metal? Metal. Metal. Sleep well. And he chuckles to himself. <laughs> Enjoy your last night on Earth. You notice his Wherever accent is modified? Are. His accent tends to modify? Is he from a modification planet? He's from New Zealand, so it shifts. So do you guys have anything you want to do over the course of the evening or sleep it off and prepare for trial in the morning? I don't know what to do. Is there anything in our cells? Like looking around? Straw in piles for something to sleep on. Um, No windows to the outside. Um, The only light you get is from the torches in the hallway through the little slat in your cell. What's our proximity to his room? Or do we even know where he Close is? enough that you occasionally will hear Derp giggle with his little pony that is his. <laughs> <laughs> with his little pony. Yeah. Um, I think I'd probably like to um, hum, start humming a familiar melody. Let's see here. What do we share in our past memories that might... I'd like to wake him from his... Revive him from his reverie and get him to vouch for our position as his friends and helpers and all that stuff. 
once a week, my familiar closet can commune. With it like a, your deity or whatever? Yeah. Okay. That wipe down here? We can try. Okay. I'm gonna have him commune with Orcus. Okay. What kind of questions can I ask? Like, can I just ask anything? Yes, no's, but yeah. Yes, no's. Okay, I'm gonna ask him to uh, to try to get in communication with Derp mm -hmm. and tell him like to help in any way Derp can. Okay. Might be more clear. Do you want him to butt to try to bust us out, or does he talk? Uses man uses words or uses strength? His strength's well, better. Yeah, his strength's way better. <laughs> yeah, but we're in. Uh, aren't they all? Uh, this is where he was forged, essentially. So they all ha are pretty st strong and big. And I mean, yeah. I mean, the only way we're gonna get out of here. Is it's this. It's now, this little right? midget guy. That's that's. Uh, Keith. Keith. It's Keith's fault, right? It feels like he's manipulating the situation. I thought we get. We get dirt to kill Keith, and then let's and then he loves Keith and needs to hug him really yeah. hard. I don't know, simple, simple command. Dirt, or we could just dirt, bite our time. Dirt and punch wait. Keith is probably the best way you could. Or do we it. could wait for this trial thing and try to. I don't know. Do we want to cooperate or try to fight this? Well, stay close to me during the trial if we get that far. Sure, we'll try. Yeah, I, I guess kind of ask him, ask Orcus if like. Am I heading down the right path right now? <laughs> uh, the default commune question, yes. Yeah. Um, go ahead and roll a percentile to see if this whole prayer gets through. From your weird demon spawn familiar. 95? Oh, yeah, it does. Your, your closet seems to relate the idea that, yeah, more or less, you're on the right path. And then you get the sense that the, the, the deity makes a... What else you want to know, face? Well, should I should I contest this or see it through? Like, uh, well, I guess yes. From uh, from an adjoining cell, you hear Tarbolt. Yes, we? of course you want to contest yes, it. Yes. They're gonna They're kill, gonna kill us, us, you ignorant I, bastards! I forgot that guy is still. Hey, here. we need to send. Him, can can like. they send him a dream in which we are in horrible danger and the only when he, he desperately needs to save us? I look. at <laughs> <laughs> the closet relates that Orcus says, mm -mm, "Nope, you're on your own on this one, buddy. I got my, I got bigger fish to fry. You're not my favorite. Come on, what can you do for me? Now, what can I do for you? I'm trying to create you undeadly, fucking ass. <laughs> That's how it is when you worship a That's demon. Good way to talk to your deity. That's what I'm saying. These fucking deities are worthless. <laughs> Yo, I'm on your board now. Uh huh." So cut up that bullshit and let's let's try to what's what's a familiar how can we draw derp to us? Maybe we play the clappy game. Are, are my are my clangy game? Are my hands unbound now? No, your hands are still bound. Hey derp! Alright, I, I got an idea. Okay, so I, I, I kinda gesture to my familiar to kind of shuffle over towards me. Mm hmm And then I bite his neck, trying to kill him. So okay. That, so that he becomes dead meat for somebody. <laughs> oh. oh wow. wow. This got real. <laughs> well, okay. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay. Um, first, I'm going to need a diplomacy check or something like a, however, whatever sort of like interpersonal communication skill you want to use, even just a raw charisma check will do. How about intimidate? Okay, get over here. I'll kill you. Because I'm going to kill you when you get over here? Yeah, totally. Why would I let him know my... Well, no, I know. I'm just saying that's the irony of the situation. Well, don't you... Uh, I mean, can't you just tell, can't you just pull him over to I you? Know, he's my familiar. Wouldn't he just be like, hey, come here? All right. It's more of a sense to hide your intentions is the reason I'm asking for, like, a... Yeah, that makes sense. I got a 15 on my diplomacy. Okay. Like a sad little old yeller coming up. Yeah. Make no, he's a demon. He's this, this with demon. his big old adorable demon <laughs> eyes looking up at you like, yes, boss? Yes? Yes, what do you want? I mean, you say this like I care. I know. So then I'm going to reach over with my head and I'm going to rip out his throat with my teeth. Okay, so I guess uh, roll me a melee. 
against its AC. I love that he's doing this instead of just yelling, Hey, Dirk, come here. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think he could hear us. He's been singing to him the whole time. So that is... Dirk, come here. Can you hear me? 20. Hi, Pontoon. Hey, come here, Dirk, buddy. Can you come in here? Really quiet, though. It's 20 a game. Against his 19. Okay. Yeah, okay. Here I come. Shh. Why is this, this real? Game? This is happening. Uh, so well, I ripped his throat out. <laughs> well, you already well, did. I bit him. Roll a d6 plus your plus half your strength. Three. Okay, it's a plus one, so I do four. Four points of damage to your familiar as you bite it. Um, it's gonna trust you a little less from now on. Um, Dirk, give me a strength check on your bonds. Oh, they, I thought they just put me in a room. I didn't nope, know you bond, are also bound. bound. Yeah. Uh, 16. All right. You're trying to stand up. Yeah, come here. You have to get to um, And you're able to in. sort of get up, but you can't break your arm or leg manacles. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, Thank you. What about and, me? I'm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to stand Yeah, no, go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do my best to, to, rip, to rip these. They're medical. They're, they're uh, medical. They are medical, Met- medical metal restraints. Metal, metal, metal manacles. Metal manacles. Right. Abbreviated to medical. Yes. <laughs> medicals. Yes, right. the medicals. Um, yeah, but I can't do any modifiers or anything because I can't smash no. it up. 14. You yeah. try with all your might, but Not you cannot point. get these things to break. Uh, Tarbold calls out from his cell, hearing you guys struggling with the chains. They made this dirt guy. Do you really you think that they're going to make chains that you guys, guys break? break? Not a point there. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's why I was trying to kill my familiar. <laughs> Tarbell's like, well, damn. You guys really are hardcore. I suggest we all just rest up. up. See what happens tomorrow. Okay. Night, night. <laughs> uh, Pontoon does not want to give up. Thanks for taking that whole... Derp goes to sleep. Fucking bullshit. So, Sean, in the middle of the night, you hear the sound of keys in your cell door and uh, two guards come and grab you and you find yourself face to face with Keith what's up fuck face <laughs> Keith is like oh Sean do you not remember me not off the top of my head maybe the bottom of your maybe balls. the bottom of my sweaty taint mouthy as ever just like I made you oh, <laughs> Um, and he holds, he dangles in front of your face, your bag of holding. Sean, would you please reach into this bag of holding, pull out that book for me? Oh, I'd love to, but my hands are bound. Sean, would you please be a good boy as we unlock your manacles? Your manacles are unlocked. Sean, would you please reach into this bag, pull out the book for daddy? Sure, sure. So I I reach in and grab the book. As I pull it out, I open it. He waves his hand really quick. And uh, you see this sort of like technicolor burst of energy around him as the light from the book sort of like comes out and then recedes back into the book again. The book slams shut. Sean, would you please not be a dickhead? (laughs) Sean, would you please lay on your face on the ground? No. All right. Sean, as you feel impulses swell in your body to lay face down on the ground, um, you take, eh, let's call that 15 points of damage. Do you want to lay on the ground yet? (coughs) Sean, would you please lay on the ground? Can I try to touch him? You can try. Okay. I'm going to try to touch him. Sean, as you reach out your hand, you take another 22 points of damage. Ooh. Sean, would you please lay on your face on the ground? Can we hear any of this? No. These nice gentlemen are going to manacle you up and take you back down to the dungeon, after which we will hold this farce of a trial and I will kill you all. Sean, you've served your purpose well. Would you please thank me for making you? How are you doing damage to me? Sean, it's all in your creation, Sean. Sean... I know how I was created. Yeah, how are you Sean. Damage me? Sean, it's all in your creation, Sean. It's, it's the essence of what you are is thanks to me, Sean. Don't resist my commands, Sean. It will be sad for you. I made you so strong. 
so strong, but the seeds of this strength will be your undoing, Sean. Really? All right, thank you, Sean. The nice gentleman medical you back up and carry you. Sean the player is real mad at John the DM right now. <laughs> and Sean the player has realized you don't make deals with the devil for your character. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. I love you, Sean. Um, <laughs> I'm not kidding about the damage, though. He goes ahead and heals you back up once the manacles are on. Sends you back down to the dungeon the same as you were. Oof. We're back. We're between the proverbial goblin and the deer carcass. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, so, unless anything else happens over the night with you guys, <laughs> um, morning, not a good idea. morning will come. Sadness or daylight? Both. A little yeah. bit of both. Um, you guys are all led up to, again, the sort of big chamber that you originally found yourselves in. The king sits there sort of drooling into his big mug of whatever he's drinking. Um, Hi, friends! <laughs> and Keith speaks up. He um, says, We will now weigh the guilt of the accused. Shall we have a trial held by the judgment of the king, or a trial by ordeal? What is ordeal? The defend... The defended... Did, 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 did. <laughs> <laughs> the accused may choose... Trial by ordeal, or trial by the doom of the king. Derp speaks up and says, Daddy, these friends don't hurt friends. Silence, idiot! Says Keith. Hey! He is clearly, his mind has been twisted by his vile kidnappers. Derp mind not twisted. They seek to usurp his majesty's throne. Daddy, these friends not hurt friends. We choose our deal. <gasps> oh, wonderful. Dude, the king is a dirt cat or whatever. Click. So. Gig. Whatever his name is. <laughs> Gig. Gig. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. I'm bad with names. I apologize. Um, it's okay. It shows John. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tarbold would be like, Ordeal. Ordeal for our which to do. Um, as uh, big, um, not braziers, braziers, mm. large braziers and hot irons are brought out. If the gods deem these men innocent, they will protect them from the fires of torment. The trial by ordeal is ready. Who will go first? I hope you mean fires, because all I see around here is... Little fire. <laughs> <laughs> we have a volunteer. Yeah. So show, uh, me, show me your fire. <laughs> so pontoon, pontoon is brought forward, and they bear your chest. It's red hot, sort of like brand thing is brought forth, probably around the size of a basketball, uh, with this sort of like huge engraven sort of symbol on it. Glows with hot, hot, hot fire. Am I still bound and gagged? Uh, bound, not gagged. Uh, no! I would, like, I would like to cast darkness. What's the radius on that? 20 oh, foot radius. radius. Yeah, okay. So, this sphere of darkness suddenly erupts from around Sean. For a moment, everything is plunged into darkness. In the inky blackness, you can hear Keith's voice being like, Naughty, naughty, Sean! Would you please turn off the darkness? You naughty, naughty boy! <laughs> oh, oh, so easily cowed. Gag that one, please. Well, while, it, while he was in the darkness, uh, I'm expanding myself in, in, exponentially, and I am going to what's the what's the god's name? I need the name of their god. Is there a arcana? Can I roll anything? Do I know? Do I know who? Their influences. Who their who influences them? Uh, roll a. Uh, 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 an intelligence or a knowledge religion if you got it. Ooh, 17. Sure. Uh, the name of their god is Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> it's a horrible name for a yeah. god. Well, no, Gerald, the, the, the half-ogre prince of half-ogres. Of course. In the darkness, I expanded myself uh -huh. towards huge yeah. the fuck. Gerald would like 
for me to be willing and ready for your blessings as <laughs> you see fit. You see, Joe and I are old friends, and he was put he put me here in this situation to test your resolve. Oh my god. Oh my Gerald. <laughs> um after that stunning performance, um, the the man, the ogre man with the uh, brand, just immediately drops it. Like, he spoke the name of Gerald. You must pick it up. You must apply it. <laughs> no. <laughs> you must close the circle. Not not to a loyal servant of Gerald. Not to the chosen of Gerald. And I turned to the rest of the court with my arms out because I have shredded the manacles and they probably injured me in the process and I raised my my arms which are now about 25 feet in, ex- in expansion and I say are you not entertained <laughs> <laughs> This week's combat, once again, is brought to you by, guess what? Beer. I'm so surprised. Beer. It is a shocker, isn't it? Uh, John, why don't you tell us about the beer we got this week since you brought it in? Um, well, we've got a little bit of uh, The Reverend, uh, made by Avery out of Boulder, Colorado, if uh, memory serves. Mm-hmm. Gotta look at the bottle here. Sure, yes. yeah. Boulder That's sounds right. right. Oh, Lord. We've been drinking beers today. Yeah. Um, it's a uh, Belgian quad. Mm. Uh, which means it's going to punch you right in the face with alcohol, yes. but do it in the kindest, gentlest oh, way so possible. Just like, just like a reverend would. Am I right? Oh. That got awkward. All right. Yeah, that's decent. So, Bob, um, are you new to this beer? This is the first time I've tried it. It's... Tell me about what your new guy experience is well, with this beer. I love Belgian beers. Mm-hmm. Probably my first uh, beer drinking experience was traveling to Europe with my father and I think the first the first beer I remember trying was actually a Belgian Trappist I think it was a double uh, and I may have snuck a triple later Ooh. later in the in the trip saucy uh, dog this is a quadruple yeah um, but I uh, so uh, I cut my beer drinking teeth if you will on on Belgian yeah. style beers um, so this is Really, really good. It's mal- it's nice and malty. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it's yeah, it's delicious. Sean, this is also your first time. Oh yeah, yeah. As the ignorant beer drinker of the group we have here, <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm not a big beer guy, uh, especially when it, I, I guess when it comes to hops and, and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. This this is very smooth, and I mean, it doesn't feel at least mouth wise, it doesn't feel like a, a high off. Alco, yeah. No, it's all right. We're all there with you, man. It obviously it's, is. Yeah, no, that's the sneaky thing about the Reverend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because this is this is ten percent ABV, which means twenty proof. So yeah. we're we're pushing on the border of like just a glass of Malibu, sort of, which is like right. you know, uh, easy drinking, low alcohol liquor, but still like we're drinking a glass of liquor right now. Right, and right. It, it, it does just, not it taste like it. No, and smooth, and sweet, and malty. Um, yeah. Nice finish, nothing like alcoholy or burny about it. No, it's no, a no, beautiful no. beer. And the, uh, this also is a good example of a thing that I think <clears throat> a lot of people that who homebrew and a lot of like self declared beer snobs and things like that miss. You can have a flavorful beer without dumping seven tons of hops into the batch. Oh uh, yeah. well, that's true. That's true. This is not a hoppy beer. It's no, a yeah, very yeah. malty beer, but it's very flavorful well and I think like I mean I think there's like sort of I mean not necessarily two camps but there's two like if you want to make a really big beer um, and I'm saying this is mostly a beer ignoramus but I mean I feel like you either go the super hop head route with like right. a double or an imperial IPA right. and you get that up to like 9-10% or you go the route of like the um, like the barley wine or the Belgian mm-hmm. um, where you can sort of mask the amount of alcohol that you've put into it um, with like the whatever process the elfin magic that they use <laughs> yeah. to make this delicious delicious beer mm-hmm. well, it gets a, a little sweet so it kind of kills that mm-hmm. bitterness yeah and it makes it way easier to, to, to stomach you know? totally well and it's funny because i'm not a sweet beer guy like generally like your barley wines like even your belgian quads like i'm not a big fan of um just because like after a while it's like i don't want to drink this weird bubblegum sarsaparilla drink that gets me super drunk right, right. um 
but Avery is just Jesus Christ's gift to the earth, in yeah. my opinion. Yeah, um, just, they make a really make fine a beer. beer, a really fine oh, beer. It's delicious. There's almost a, um, and correct me, maybe I'm just getting this, maybe this is just me, but there's almost a licorice. No, definitely. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really, it's really nice. It's not, mm-hmm. it's not that, it's not super strong. It's just kind of undertone, kind mm-hmm. of at the finish, but it's, it's well, it's, really and it's really not really a, nice. it's not a cloying sweetness because yeah. I feel like a lot of the quads, like you get like this almost like bubble gummy sort of flavor with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and this doesn't have that like overbearing sweetness. It's just sweet enough that you know, like, hey, I'm Belgian. <laughs> right. I'm here to party. <laughs> I'm Belgian. What's your super? Yeah. Bar? It's almost like an anise. Type. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Really subtle, yep. really. Mm-hmm. But Anis. Anis. Culinary school rears its head again. Yeah, that's a. It's, Smart it's like a starburst, right? The anise. I love yes. this guy. It's like a like a Star- like a dirty starburst. <laughs> like a dirty starburst. <laughs> Chocolate starfish we got going. On. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just referenced the Limp Biscuit album, and I don't know how I feel about that. I'm not sure how I feel. <laughs> Fred Durst, I love you. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can cut that. That's fine. No, we're keeping no, that. We can't. Gentlemen, let's talk about attribute modifiers on this beer. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this a, uh, a plus to wisdom. Ooh. I think this is a plus to wisdom. I think it's magical. Yeah. I think it's going to bring your spellcasting abilities really to the fore. Well, if you're a divine caster, obviously, it's entitled I, the Reverend. That's right. Yeah. I think for clerics, this is probably a plus four to wisdom. It's a go-to. Um, for any other class, it's probably only a plus two or plus three. But yeah. I think clerics are going to pull a lot of... Well, I feel like my spot and listen have approved, have improved as well. Approved oh, yeah, as well. Yeah, I yeah, approved yeah. my yeah, spot and listen checks, list, yeah. but they also improved as I approved them. Absolutely. Because um, right now I can see individual leaves on trees mm. i feel like the universe is to a green blur yeah has come into focus for me right now perfect um so yeah i think this is one of the finest beers on the planet second only maybe to mercenary you and that mercenary what do yeah. you think sean what's your uh, what's your modifier yeah your modifier man i think this is gonna give me a couple hit points as well oh i like Ooh. temporary hit yeah. points yeah this i mean this is gonna get you in there Get you going, and then later, you know, he'll back off. But I, I think this is going to get ready for uh, an awesome battle. Fantastic. Well, speaking of awesome battles, let's get right back to one. We were talking about the Avery, the Reverend. It's a Belgian quadruple ale. Uh, so pick one of those up. Enjoy that. And now back to the combat. Enjoy. <laughs> Immediately, the whole room just bursts with cries of Gerald, Gerald, Gerald. And the king sort of shakes his head like, and Keith is like, no, no, filthy interlopers. All my NPCs have that voice. And I point at Keith Keith, and I say, this one is not one of you. Gerald, Gerald. <laughs> I love this. Uh, <laughs> this pump. Yes. Multiple and immediately, pumps. immediately, the uh, the ogres start removing your manacles and stuff like. He's like, and 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 uh, Keith is like, no, no. Um, would you please sit down? You stay where you're at, and and the rest of you. Uh. Dirt punch, Keith. And then Keith goes flying across the room. He's like, I'll show you all. I'll show you all. And he produces the book. And Targle's like, that mother. But then the book explodes open in a ray of light. Um, And in the illumination that the book sort of produces, you see the king sort of like shiver for a second. And his head just explodes. Daddy! No! And this creature comes shooting out from inside the king. Um, and it looks like um, like a six-legged dachshund made out of tentacles, <laughs> for lack of a better description. Um, Could there ever be a better description? No. I mean, it's, it's more the size of a golden retriever, but it's entirely tentacles. Like, it's just entirely like these like tentacles with these razor spines on it, and uh, immediately it latches on to keep just wraps around them and then in a flash they're all gone so as keith and the king disappear well the king's still there his head is all exploded 
Um, but as Keith and Grick disappear, there's lots of uh, chaos around the hall that you guys are in. Um, and people are like, the king is dead. The king is dead. The followers of Gerald have killed the king. Um, and then everybody's like, looks around for a second in stunned silence. Derp is king. King Derp. Okay. All hail King Derp. Hi. Derp is king. King is Derp. Everybody rushes to go pick up the, the bloody viscera covered crown off the ground and they place it right on Derp's head. <laughs> crown tickle. <laughs> king Derp. Drips a little. All hail King Derp. King Derp the mighty. King Derp of the chosen of Gerald. Our almighty God, Gerald. As all this sort of ruckus is happening, you see Tarbold start to get sort of irritated, and he's like, They're getting away. Come on, you, you pansies. pansies. Let's go. go. We need to chase them right now. Even you, your majesty. Okay. Untie friends. We need a quest. Untie friends. And the, the, the ogre guards jump to immediately, your majesty. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, untie Sean, really, because... I deflate. And you deflate... From your 25 foot presence again, Tarbold opens a portal. So they went this way, through here. Okay. But where Monkey and Singer? We got to go through this now. We have a small opportunity. I just opened this. Your friends may be on the other side. Okay. So you all hop through the portal, um, much to the dismay of your new found followers and serfs. <laughs> um, and everything goes to white, and you find yourself. Hearing the noise of uh, like jungle birds, and uh, as you open your eyes or as your vision sort of returns, you find yourself looking up at like sort of a jungle canopy, but it's through this sort of uh, bamboo cage, mm. and uh, each of you are stuck in your own sort of bamboo cage. Oh uh, shit! Yeah. We're back in Dom. <laughs> combat roll. <laughs> <laughs> so pontoon combat rolls. And uh, almost crushes um, poor Grub Burn Village, who is also in the cage with you. Um, you are in a cage. Uh, sorry, Derp are in a cage with Pun. Uh, not Pun here. You, Derp, are in a cage with Parsnips, is what I'm trying to get out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> unfortunately, unfortunately, Sean is stuck in a cage with Gold Man Sacks. Uh, Craven. Also sits in a cage. Singer! With Brad, who has been um, regaling him with tales of their good old days where he used to give him noogies all the time. <laughs> Pasquale is also in another cage. Alongside him is Tarbold. Pasquale and Craven. Um, last thing you remember um, was being in the Ren Fair with everyone else. And then everything went white, and you and the other paragons of valor found yourself zapped into these cages. Um, and then about 15 minutes later, these guys show up. As you look up, you're in sort of, as you sort of stand to your feet, you're in a probably about a 10 foot deep pit. And it looks like you're in a jungle. Um, it's hot, it's muggy. How far, how far apart are they? Can we see each other? Yeah, you can see each other. The cages themselves are um, maybe a, like a eight to 10 feet apart. They're made of bamboo. bamboo yeah. Um, I'm going to stand up and what pandas eat? attempt to break them with an upper... Well, they're big cages, too. I mean, they're probably, like, um, I would say they're probably about uh, 15 feet high by 15 feet wide. So, I mean, there's lots of room in these. Are we in the okay. zoo? What's going, on? What's going on here? Does anybody know anything? Uh, Pasquale barely recognizes you guys because he's been smoking bananas and doesn't remember... Things <laughs> as though his character sheet was left at home. <laughs> he uh, calls himself out. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. We're all friends here. We can figure things out. Um, we'll improvise. <laughs> Tarbold is like, I think I can get through these bars. Okay. If, if I get through these bars, um, I'm gonna run up, scamper up, up the side, side of this pier and see, and see see where we are. Okay. Um, don't anybody make any sudden movements. I don't want to. I don't want to get made while I'm trying, trying to get out, get out of this pit that we're in. Okay. So what happens is, 
So, <laughs> so Derp gets this thing in his brain that's kind of like, don't think of an elephant, don't think of an elephant, and he jerks violently to the left by about five feet. So Tarble disappears for a second, just in this like little poof of smoke, and reappears outside the cage, and then scampers up the side of the pit. That's handy. Yeah. And you jerk suddenly. And then you hear this sound that's like a crack of thunder, like a real quick crack of thunder, and Tarble's head explodes. <laughs> And then you hear, the Eigenkrieger Bogen! The Bogen, the Kagen! Oh, we're in that Nazi slash. We're, the, we're, we're with the Nazis in paradigm. Vietnam. I mean, it's the, wor- the Vietnam Nazis are the worst Nazis. kind of Nazis. <laughs> Dude, also, I hate Vietnam Nazis. Vietnam Nazis, Nazis are awful. <laughs> also, aren't they Viet Nazis? Viet Nazis? <laughs> <laughs> um, the Nazis are coming! So, uh, so, uh, um, light-skinned dudes in uh, tan and gray tunics uh, <coughs> to describe them in the parlance of your time uh-huh. um, come climbing down ladders with these weird sort of metal sticks in their hands. Um, they look around. Hello. They bark some more zigug and zigagans at you. and Because um, that's how German works, right? right? They say a lot of zigugans and zigagans. Yes. Who is the finster? Why do you do that? Just, just imagine that Dylan's scary German voice is mine and this sort of thing. <laughs> oh no. Um, I'm terrified. I'm horrified I right now. Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> I can make that one out. They look around for a moment, make sure you're all still in your cages, and they drag the corpse of Tarbold away. Um, back up the side of the pit and uh, head I'm off. I'm happy to have my own cage all to myself. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so roomy again. Oh, blood everywhere. But you can it's throw, all right. You throw shit with impunity. <laughs> so the bars of the cage are Bamboo. close enough together that we can't go in between cages. No, the the individual slats between the bars are um, probably about a foot by a foot. So, I mean, it's... It's too small for any one of you to sort of fit through. I, I understand you're giving me that oh really face because I understand that you are craving the skinny. Um, <laughs> but I think your shoulders are probably too broad. Being a, <laughs> being a strapping young man like you are. Uh-huh. But if it's made of bamboo, we should just be able to smash our way down. Do yeah, dirt punch we, cage. Do we have our weapons? Uh, can I cast darkness? <laughs> um, no, you don't have your weapons. Yes, you can cast darkness. I mean, you have your banana powers as always, yeah. but but it's pitch black now, and you have no idea what's happening. So I tell everybody, hey, they well within twenty feet of me, so I like, think they can still hear you, even though it's dark. That's fine. They can't see me though. <laughs> okay. So the cage next to me, who's in who's in the cages next to me? Let's say that Derp and Craven are next to you. Yeah. So, just like we're sitting around the table. Okay. For those at home, I just cheated by using our <laughs> orientation at the table to determine where the cages are. Perfect. In fact, assume that you have about 8 to 10 feet where you're sitting. So it would be like you have uh, Pasquale, then 8 feet you have Pontoon, and then 8 Derp. feet and you have Derp, and then 8 feet you have so on and so forth. Derp smash. Okay. Bath time, Derp. Ugh. <sighs> Derp punch cage. So, Derp, roll me a percentile first to see if you can connect with the cage in the pitch black. Okay. Well, the good news is, if I don't connect with the cage, I connect with... Who, who's in the cell? You're with Grub Burn Grub? Village. Grub no, Burn wait. Village? Who's with... No, you're with Grub... Pontoon is with Grub Burn Village. You're with Parsnips. Parsnips. You're with Gold Man Sacks, and you're with Brad the Bradical. And so I'm, I'm, either, I'm either hitting the cage or Parsnips. Uh, 93. That's the cage. That's the cage all the way. Brad is like, good! Yes! Use your stupid strength to break us free of these bonds, you glorious beast! Shut up, cockmouth! <laughs> so I, I dissipate darkness. Okay, so darkness goes away. And, uh... That was <laughs> I liked how you used the darkness to mask your commands. <laughs> Who said that in the darkness? <laughs> um, so, yeah, you easily smash a, smash a giant hole in the uh, side of the cage. Uh, Grub goes scampering through. Yeah. Parsnips. Oh, Parsnips. God, I get so excited about Grub. Um, <laughs> that's what beer does. Yeah. So Parsnips goes scampering through, but it's more like a... <laughs> oh, the edges are sharp. Um, 
<laughs> uh, so yeah, um, so you've got a giant hole in your cage now. Okay, is it big enough for me to get out? Um, uh, give me a strength check to smash the rest of the way. Okay. Twenty. Uh, yeah, you're able to rip a, a derp-sized hole in the cage now. Um, All right, I'll go smash the other cages. Okay, so uh, Derp goes ahead and releases everybody from the things, and uh, Brad is like, excellent, excellent. I think they stashed our gear just over the ridge here. If we can just climb up, <laughs> we should be able to get our gear back. <laughs> uh, Sally Forth Adventurers. Yeah, go get our gear, fuckwit. Yeah. Only a brave person could None of that. you are brave enough to answer the no, call of getting our gear? Not, not Did you see him. his head explode? <laughs> so be it. Brad the Bradical shall liberate our equipment. Do I have a one of those? Really brave wait, 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 wait. wait. Whistle while they do it. Where's the book? Oh, the fucking Keith has it. Keith, Keith, Keith the do necromancer. I have a thunder stick? <laughs> what, what, what happened to our guards? They're all gone and up over the ridge again. So, Brad. The radical is like, I'll show you how a real adventurer gets things done. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Make it a trap. Scampers up the side, sort of slips a little bit going up because he's not used to doing climby things. <laughs> um, but he gets up and he looks both ways, and then he look over here. I shout at you, <laughs> and then you hear a lot of Zigorgan, the armor of the night in Uzigorgan. And then you hear lots of these little <laughs> thunder cracks going around, and you hear lots of ho 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 you missed me ho oh, ho oh. and then uh, silence. Sweet. Dirt paper, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, they still need her to go down. And then suddenly two large knapsacks come flying over the side of the thing. And uh, in a perfect, like, swan dive into a tuck and roll, Brad comes rolling down. Ha <laughs> I have reclaimed, I have reclaimed our gear from the nefarious evildoers up over the pit. Re-equip yourselves, my friends. I will lead us to glory. Ha <laughs> Is it, does anybody have any blueberries? <laughs> oh, blueberries. So I'm assuming everybody grabs your gear? Yeah. Yep. We'll grab it. <laughs> Alright, so everybody goes ahead and re-equips yourselves. Brad's like, I took out four, but I have a feeling there might be more, so it's best we travel together. Okay. You go first. Very dangerous. Nazis. Very dangerous. You go first. I'll put my stuff on, I grab my shield, uh, and I will gesture to our fearless leader <laughs> to lead on. In the air quotes. <laughs> I, I think we should Maybe rob Maybe tie some bells to him. Let's rob and Brad and his friends. Do you think you could provide some distraction while we climb out of... I'm not a good climber. Let's, can you distract them while I climb out of this... Uh, a flanking this maneuver? Brilliant! Yes! <laughs> we should pincer attack. Does uh, anybody have any lights, charm, any kind of little zappy thing? I can I have fire. Does anybody have any arrows? I can I fire have dancing banana lights. Bullets. I can cast dancing lights over it. Oh, Let's yeah. See that. It's like me and my companions... We will charge from the front. If you loop around from the side and flank them, surely we will find great victory. Oh, yeah. Craven we'll here do has. That. Craven here can equip you with a magic robe of, of, of illusionment, uh, a, a robe of a cloud of, of hiding. Yeah. Uh, you will see magic flashy lights on the inside, but on the outside, they yeah, see nothing but a modern so day ACU invisible. pattern. Ha ha ha! Oh, my burly yet stupid friend. My my little brother Craven here is only good for pissing himself. It's fine. Cast whatever bobbly prestidigitation you wish on me. It's fine. I'm sure it would be ineffective, but I will treat it as though it were my most prized possession. Yeah, if, if Derp if only... If Derp only understood what the fuck That's he was saying, he would punch him. Should I clothe him in the... the the magic breath of the black dragon? Or should we let this charade, charade continue for a bit? I say let the Nazis do it. Alright. 
Uh, that's what the British said, too. Oh. <laughs> Ew. Hey. Uh, yeah, just kidding. Oh. Just kidding, any listeners in the UK. Oh, too soon. Uh, just sorry. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> um, so uh, Brad will be like, Tally ho, my companions! And then Grub will try and run the other direction, and he'll pick him up by the scruff of the neck, one-handed up the side of the pits, and then you'll hear... And then, what are you doing? Casting dancing lights. Casting dancing lights on Brad. Um, so Brad will be clothed in a, in a glistening aura of dancing lights. Um, and will charge over the hill and you'll hear, ho oh, oh, receding off into the distance. Followed by the sounds of automatic gunfire. And we will go the other direction. So we're climbing up the side of the pit first, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to head away from where we set the Um, voice one. Need you climb checks? Yes, climb checks. Please, from everybody, let me know if you roll less than a five. Oh, Oh, Uh I crit. You crit? Yep. Good, maybe you can carry the rest of us up. I rolled a three. I got a six. Ah. Okay. So everybody makes it over the side except for Craven. With your crit, however, as Craven's like, give me a, a oops, I'm falling. <gasps> okay, great. Um, Derp is able to reach down somehow with his big metal fist, hits Craven just right so that Craven will take. Roll that D8 love damage there. Um, <laughs> Come on, singer. Five. Take five points of damage as you are clubbed in the head, but still manage to grab hold of the giant metal fist and uh, get up outside. As you're able to get to the jungle above, Pasquale, roll me a percentile as you see a huge structure rising in the distance. It's a nine. The other UFO is a one. Oh, no. The other UFO is a five. Even better. So a 95. 905. Pasquale, you recognize (laughs) with your 905... um, this giant sort of pyramid structure rising above the trees um but it's like a stepped i mean it looks like a like a like an aztec ruin um above it though you'll see this this uh banner waving it's this red flag with a white circle in the middle and this strange rune in the middle in black you know um nazis yeah nazi aztecs but uh pasquale you feel this you feel this weird draw to this pyramid as though it's it's something familiar from your past. Um, it's as if you've been here before in another life. Like before I was a gorilla? Like maybe before you were a gorilla. Uh, this is all so familiar, you guys. <laughs> cool. <laughs> like from my past life, before I was a gorilla. Yeah. Um, where'd your accent go? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot that too. Where'd, you, where'd yours go? Smoking a lot of well, bananas. <laughs> where'd yours go? Walking. Mine only appears when I'm doing something. <laughs> um, so, uh, still in the far distance, you hear more. Is that the Doppler effect? Yeah. It's going away from the well, that was just slow motion as he was dodging large arms fire. Large okay. arms, is that a thing you say? Sure, sure. Lar- large arms? Large arms. He was jumping away from an explosion, not looking at it? Yeah. Oh. Like a douche. Oh. <laughs> In slow motion. Let's follow our non ape friend here to our non gorilla compatriot up to his. Mr. Non gorilla. Yeah. This seems like we're in a. New Mexico. Or Old Mexico. You're in the south of Old Mexico, perhaps. We're in the Yucatan Peninsula. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the Yucatan. The old Yucatan. Maybe we'll find some peyote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, or some dragon ode, as the case yeah, may be. Yeah. I keep forgetting. We're in this other place. <laughs> <laughs> he stuck dragon ode in his anus earlier. Um, you guys start tromping through the sort of thick jungle towards this large sort of ziggurat. You start hearing this growl approaching, like a huge beast. You hear the noises of like trees and branches breaking as this growl starts moving towards you. Let's face it. Get it okay. closer. Okay. 
I was just giving you an opportunity to do something before the grout got to you. That's all that's happening right now. I was just, uh, hiding. I second that. I'm gonna climb up a tree. Climb up a tree. Derp yeah. just watches the monkey go up the tree and just kind of looks around in like all. what's happening already in Spectrum Man. Okay. I'm climbing a tree. Okay, give me a climb check. You don't have prehensile toes. <laughs> I will scramble. Uh -oh. uh, not quite. Yeah, um, you're yeah. mostly doing the. You're mostly doing the like scratch, 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 like in a cartoon where you're trying to climb and you're making all the motions of climbing, but you're not really going anywhere. Is there a yeah, if yeah, there was the weird bongo noise, like um, as you're trying to get up. Um, I guess I'll just hide behind it, but get up there. Um, and through. The trees. I'm gonna shout, "Monster, come this way!" Okay. And I'm gonna go about 20 feet away from where everybody else is. I'm gonna run 20 feet away, and I'm gonna say, "Monster, come this way!" Okay. Um, through the trees crashes this giant steel creature that I can only describe as like like an elephant. Um, this big elephant. Wait, the Nazis have adats? It's a big elephant. It looks like a. It's like a. It's like a squat, but large metal elephant um, and it just growls and belches smoke everywhere and then it's uh, it's uh, what do you call that the thing that comes off the front of an elephant trunk, trunk. yeah that simple like sixth grade third grade first grade three-year-old sort of thing that I should know yeah so it's trunk suddenly points towards the group of you and then a big burst of fire and smoke comes out of it and I need everyone group except for me Dylan no, I need everyone except for Dylan and Mike to roll me reflex saves. I crit again. Okay. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve from Craven. All right. Um, derp, you're fine. Yay! Everybody else take twenty-four points of damage. Boy. As a gigantic explosion rocks the area that you guys are in. As this explosion firing elephant trunk that growls on treads. We won't worry about <laughs> what it actually is right now. Maybe uh, a panzer type elephant? Yeah, panzerish elephant. Does this thing have any obvious doors or openings? Um, you, you see a few holes in it here and there. Um, Are they big enough for me to fit through? Not for you to fit through. Big enough for things to fit through, should you want to put things Say in them. Say an elder blast, for yeah. example. Yes. Um, I'm going to need initiative from everybody. Yay! Combat time. Let's fight an elephant tank. <laughs> Banana cakes, even, I could say. Where yes, just, actually. Again, with the zip zopping cakes. all yeah. over the universe. Uh, went into some cages. Um, Dylan looks, got real big, or excuse me, Pontoon got pontoon real big. Pontoon got real big, squished some dudes. Yeah. Um, you met Tarbold. Yeah. Tarbold. Yo, Tarbold, I believe was the name. Yeah. Yeah, that's real classy, real yeah. clever on my part. Um, and uh, now we're uh, about to encounter a big elephant, big metal elephant. Big metal elephant, yeah. I just, I don't Something even know. I don't lines. even know how you guys are going to survive this. Yeah, I don't know. The the Viet Nazis blew Tarbolt's head off, and it was a problem. But uh, it's the load in the universe. Yeah. So hopefully we can uh, kind of conquer this this elephant, so to speak. Well, this just, large metal elephant. You'll just have to wait and see. We Bob. will have to wait and see. While you're waiting to see. Uh, check out our, our Facebook page. That's facebook.com slash flag drag or follow us on Twitter at flag drag. Uh, we'd love to hear back from you. And also uh, a rating and a review on iTunes would be most appreciated. The best thing on the planet. Um, we've had a long day of recording so oh, light, you know. I feel like I'm coming out of the coal mines right now. The word appreciated is not easily Man, produced. Ain't, ain't many words coming out of my mouth right right, right now. No, See, sir. right, 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 right now. That's it. Yep, yep, yep. Yowza. It's hard work. It's yeah. podcasting. It is. We'd, we'd really appreciate all, all of your monies for it. Yes. And your rates 
and your reviews. Rates and reviews, absolutely. And most importantly, if you like this show, please tell a friend to listen to us. We would really yes. love that. Um, and we will talk to you soon. Stick around next week for episode 106 of Flagons and Dragons and see what happens with this big fucking metal elephant. We'll talk to you then. Until we do, roll a d20, drink, repeat. Flagons and Dragons is DM'd by Jonathan Markheim. Recorded, edited, and engineered by Bob Morsh. Like the Flagons and Dragons page on Facebook or follow us on Twitter at FlagDrag. You can also send an email to flagdragpodcast at gmail.com. Thank you.